this could be good. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Um, this last year, I was an assistant executive secretary in my ward, texting people, setting up interviews. I wouldn't have minded like that being done by AI. Are you in danger of losing your calling to AI? <laughs> Joseph Smith. Oh, he's a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Double nostril. What is like a better sacrament meeting talk? Is just someone no notes gets up there and just rambles or is someone who's just like spouting nonsense from AI? Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Saints Inscripted. I'm here today with Lauren and Cam, and I'm Wilson, and we have a pretty interesting topic that I want to break down for you guys today. We're going to be talking about the impact of artificial intelligence on the church. I guess just to get it started off, like what are your guys' initial reactions to how artificial intelligence is, is impacting the church? Okay, I, you know, I don't know about in the church as a whole. What I will say <laughs> is I got this pretty nifty app. Um, and when I go to it, I can put in, I'm dealing with this problem. What's a scripture verse for that? And it'll spit out a scripture verse or a few from the KJV um, that can apply to my situation. So AI can be helpful in that regard. I think it Does can... Does it ever make up verses? No, it only quotes <laughs> it from the KJV. It doesn't. But if I want to like... I don't remember this book in the KJV. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to like chat GPT and I was just like, this is a problem. How can like God help me? That's a more general question. And AI would probably just give me a bunch of things that it can combine from maybe different versions of the Bible or different types of scripture, like anything and everything that it can think of. And it might not be able to be applicable to my situation or it might be different from what my faith believes. Mm -hmm. So I think it... It depends on how you use it and and remembering that you shouldn't rely on it more than the actual scriptures or like church leadership or praying to your heavenly father. Hmm. I think that's really true because it's true that there's like a lot of different ways to find truth. Mm -hmm. And like I feel like there's a lot of different sources, like whether it's from religion, from personal spirituality, whether it's from the world. I think there is truth that to be found in the world. So I just think it's important to be mindful of where you're finding this truth, just like you were talking about, just like being aware of that, I think is cool. Exactly. It's like a search engine. And just mm -hmm. like you won't trust everything you see on Google is truth, you shouldn't really trust everything that AI gives you is truth, mm -hmm. especially the artwork. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I have a film. we'll get to that. <laughs> what do you uh, think, I haven't seen any practical application of AI in my spiritual life. And I'll look up this app because that seems like, <laughs> Gen -genuinely seems like maybe cool. the one good. Um, <laughs> but I love writing talks. Yeah. So having chat GPT, I, I don't know. The, the whole point for me is doing the research and. Uh, well, no, like I, I hate it. I, well, I, feel, I feel you on that because yeah. whenever I get asked to give a talk in sacrament meeting, I feel like I genuinely learn a lot about yeah. the topic I'm asked to speak about. Because I'm researching it myself, I'm reading other talks or scriptures and actually having a spiritual experience preparing for this. The the hard work of making the outline and finding the verses and, and researching the talks is what's fulfilling for me. And having ChatGPT step in and do it all for me just it's kind of boring. Mm -hmm. But Also, asking ChatGPT to like make any script for anything. I work in social media, so I've asked it a lot to be like, make me a 30 second TikTok on this topic. That's enthusiastic. And like you give it a keyword and I feel like AI focuses in on that keyword and it's like, all right. And it gives you the most enthusiastic script that no human would ever go ever online said. and say mm -hmm. in their yeah. life. Mm -hmm. And so I, I feel like I've had people be like, oh, you take the script and then you just make it sound more like you. And I was like, but the way it spits it out, it just seems so non-human. Yes. Like almost like, like, Disney Channel sometimes seems fake with how happy they are. Elevate that. And that's what I get from AI. <laughs> what I, what I want from AI is I want AI to automate my schedule during the week. Yes. And opt so I have more time <laughs> to sit down and actually write the talk. There you go. Yeah. Pay my taxes so I can make music. Not so you can yeah. make music, you know? Well, actually, okay. now I've got a question. What is like a better, better sacrament meeting talk? Is just someone no notes gets up there and just rambles or is someone who's just like spouting nonsense from AI? Oh, hypothetically, I'll take like, the rambling. This is the worst. Comparison. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's authentic, right? I was at a birthday party and someone didn't have a gift. So they went to chat GPT and like put in write a poem for my sister. Oh, no. That's a birthday one. And then they just stood up and read it. And it was very clear that no human has ever written this ever. <laughs> yeah, I'll, so take, I'd rather, I'll take, I'll take the, the rambling. rambling. Take yeah. the rambling. Yeah. Okay. Because it is true. I feel like I've had 
on my mission, we'd have members stand up and just reread conference talks as their talk from start actually, to finish. Well, I had one branch who also went through a phase like that. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, okay. I'll <laughs> still take that over AI because I know a human wrote it. True. Yeah. <laughs> True. Good okay. Thing. Let's talk about the pros and cons you're when right, it comes you're right. to AI that we have here. <laughs> um, pros, creating quick content for social media that can outline beliefs and doctrines. But, but the I content's think, garbage. I know. We just talked about how like the script well, sounds very authentic. non-human, o- overly enthusiastic. Like It is it just, efficient, but it's like... Is that but it's it? not quality. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the Lord cares more about quality than quickness. Another pro is quick communication with people wanting to learn more about the church, all caps, right now. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but again, it's like a search engine. You're not going to, everything that you get there isn't truth. So mm-hmm. if you're looking up general stuff about the church, like, for example, is the LDS church a cult? It's dep- like some AI is going to give you, well, here are the two sides and why people might think this. And some AI is going to give you yes yeah. or like definitive no's. It okay. really depends. I feel like in defense of AI, I would rather have someone look up the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints just like straight up like, I don't know, just like random search in chat GPT or an AI rather than just a straight up Google search. At least when I was a missionary, because I felt like a lot of times we would have great interactions with people as missionaries. Then immediately they go home, look up the church, and like three or four anti-sites are the first things to pop up. But mm-hmm. I feel like at least with AI, you're going to get a holistic answer. And for the for the most part, isn't biased. I feel like AI usually does a pretty good job of explaining both sides of whatever question or whatever opinion you want it to kind of spit out. That's just what I've noticed. And so I guess personally, like, I feel like there's an improvement to just like a straight up like Mormons. <laughs> I think the issue is the the hallucinations make it so that AI will just spew out the most random non-truths. Also fair. Yeah. <laughs> the hallucinations? It's, they're, it's called hallucinating. It's, okay. it's where it just invents something. But there's a lawyer that got in trouble because he wrote his entire case using ChatGPT. Oh my gosh. And ChatGPT cited seven sources that didn't exist. It cited <laughs> seven legal cases that oh my just... Gosh. They just made him up and they sounded convincing. And then the judge went to look at him. He's like, what are you talking? None of these are real. Well, that shoots down this next pro, Mm. which is streamlined administrative tasks for organization of the church. If it's going to pull from sources that don't exist and make up stuff, I don't know how helpful it would be there. Here's my thought to that point is that recently, not recently, um, this last year, I was an assistant executive secretary on my ward. Mm. And that's a lot of like kind of in the trenches, nitty gritty, paperwork, scheduling interviews. You're just Basically like- Basically in the bishop break. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But you're just in charge of all the boring stuff. And so I feel like in that sense, some sort of AI assistance probably could have like saved me a lot of time because I felt like I just spent hours texting people, setting up interviews, waiting, like just all this stuff that I feel like I wouldn't have minded like that being done by AI. Are you in danger of losing your calling to AI? <laughs> <laughs> the calling market's suffering. Yeah. but also i feel like in general i just feel like as technology develops i feel like the church has generally done a good job of embracing that integrating it when Mm -hmm. they feel it's necessary it's like looking at missionary work and how they've integrated like social media and all that into how they um spread the gospel i feel like they've done like a really good job and for the most part it has generally been positive so imagine maybe if missionary work was able to implement AI to make it more efficient in some sense. Mm-hmm. Could be, I don't know, could be an interesting future. Could be interesting to kind of play around with. I can see Who that. Knows? We're going to turn over to looking at some AI generated images now that are about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. All right, let's check out this first one. Let's see. Um, oh, 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 dear. What's going on with his hand <laughs> here? Oh, dear. So AI What's is really on? bad with limbs, specifically This is, this is hands. meta AI, right? That's, I think so, yeah. These photos are meta AI? Meta. Yeah, okay. He just looks like a businessman. He's looking very serious. I'd be too if I was He'll, missing mm-hmm. those many limbs. I, I mean, mean if, you took, if you took an aggregate of every missionary that's ever served and put them in a single photo... <laughs> And removed their fingers. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, do they just not advance? He is looking yeah. fresh. Like, what can I just slide? Oh, perfect. Oh. Book, Book yeah. of Mormon. Let's see. This is like. It's, it's giving Book of Mormon musical. Oh, what is his little, his little pin? That's kind of creative. He kind of looks like an airline pilot. He, yeah, uh, they look he like He very pilot. much is an airline pilot. They're just like lost. Like, I don't know if this is necessarily <laughs> missionaries. We're just like 
confused in it. This is your captain speaking. We don't know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Book of Mormon. Okay. Oh. This one's oh. nice. Right. I feel like Deseret Book would like release something like this. It's missing of. The Book it's Mormon. The <laughs> <laughs> is it merging with the book next to it? Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, okay. It's like the double. Yeah. It's like a quad. The Book Mormon. The Book Mormon. And Can you zoom in on the spine? I yeah, like the we weathering on it. It is. It's like a. It's a good looking book. Okay, now we have Joseph Smith. Oh, he, he's a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Real. He's in court. Um, Double nostril. The three piece. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> the three piece suit is nice. You know, the re- teeth poking really through his lower Really unfortunate underbite, though. Really. Uh, it's it's a man. It is. I think that is a man. Oh, side his side shoulder is kind of the... like. <laughs> does he have two shoulders, or is that his chair? No, he has two shoulders. Okay. Of course. I don't know. Maybe it's a chair. But there's nobody, like, is he in They church? got the hairline right, I or guess. Or is he in, because, like, my first thought was, like. That's a courtroom. Courtroom. Yeah. But then those could be pews behind him. No, but those look like stained glass windows, so it yeah. might be a church, but it's giving very much courtroom. It's a very pretty courtroom. <laughs> okay, an LDS temple. All right. That's actually, like. Okay, what are, it what looks, are the gold no, no, things No, 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 hold top? on. It, it always looks fine until you look at it. Let's close. look at the details. <laughs> there's a lot of. Oh, what is okay. it? What, what we, got we got three not Moroni's? I kind of like that one. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like the zoom in. Okay, so what, what is, is this guy? Huh. Does AI even know what it is? No. Nope. I don't just... think so. <laughs> Mormon baptism. Okay. He's don't, alone. Elders, don't baptize in your full suits. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you got a white suit, you got to use it somehow. I mean, just in the swimming pool? Does that look like young Elon Musk? Anybody? <laughs> Does someone have a walker in the background? Or is that a ladder leading into the pool? Is that Detox Tucker Stopperson? Maybe it's just like a handrail to get into the pool. That's what I thought, yeah. Huh. Oh, this one's interesting. Why did do, He doesn't need the tie. They don't wear the ties. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, he's all by himself. Yeah. I feel like pretty much every picture of like an Elias baptism, there's like... Another person. Yeah, there's another person. So, come on, Meta. Not, these like, aren't the worst. Of, yeah? Yeah. This could have been worse. This is fair. They kind of like. Can you zoom in on the lady in the pink? Yeah, is she holding a phone? Or what? What's going on? This is as far there? as I can zoom in, but hmm, maybe. I feel like the get up of oh, this dude's face. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's tough. It's got like a double face going There's, on. Some people are like shirt and tie, and some people are like Catholic priest. Honestly, like... the entire <laughs> the entire right section looks like any given Utah elders corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, like look at those guys. <laughs> and then the rest of them are like. It gets a little Parish Catholic. But Catholics, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sacrament meeting. This is This, this is just fair. like photoshopped. <laughs> it looks like they took one of the stock church images. And, yeah. You know. Like the stock ones. Oh, missionary. That's, this could be good. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to his face? Oh, no. And the smolder we got from our elder right here in the middle. Very Flynn Rider. <laughs> Learn to convert, dude, if you know what I mean. back, though. <laughs> Yeah, he's just like kind of lurking. That is kind of like how the junior companion does. Like he just kind of like is there. <laughs> it's his first week. <laughs> a little greeny. He's just trying his best. He's trying to figure out the language. He doesn't know what's going on. Um, this does not change my opinion on AI whatsoever. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So after seeing that, not like super worried about like taking over art anytime soon, but still impressive. Fair enough. Nonetheless, better than I could have done. To be fair. Really. Give yourself more credit than that. Mm, I don't think I deserve more credit than that. <laughs> Did you see that guy's face? <laughs> you at least Fair know enough. what a face looks like. Fair enough. Fair enough. So overall, I guess wrapping up, whenever it comes to how AI is influencing the church, I feel like we have heard rumors that the church is trying to integrate AI in some fashion, whether it's developing their own AI or just trying their best to integrate into websites or administration. Mm. So at the end of the day, I feel like the church has been very wise about how they integrate technology, but they also aren't necessarily scared of doing so. I agree with that. The church is patient in in that it likes to look at current trends and and see and new technology and see how that's going and how it progresses. And it waits for the right time. And of course, when they feel influenced from Heavenly Father to now integrate this new technology into the tasks that they need to complete. And once the church starts using it, I'll trust that they're using it in the right ways. Mm-hmm. I know I sounded like a hater this whole episode. <laughs> but let me just clarify, as a musician and an artist myself, I just don't like the idea that so many things go viral on social media that are created by AI, art that's created by AI. So that's that's my beef with it. But... <laughs> 
Well, to your point, it reminds me of that story with like, I think it's Spencer W. Kimball. Whenever, like, they're like going to fly somewhere. This was an apostle telling a story. And he's like, President Kimball was like, do you guys like my plane? And then they're kind of like, what? And he's like, no, like, I didn't like, I don't own it. But like, God gave us this plane so that we can travel around the world. We can spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. Like, God provided us with this technology so we can accomplish his work. And at the end of the day, I think the church is going to use AI and developing technology in the way that the Lord wants it to be used. Amen. I love that. I'm a hater. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. It's okay. Thank you guys for tuning in and for exploring this AI topic with us. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. And don't forget to watch this episode too. Check this one out. See you guys.